pleased to present IBA's highest award, the Lifetime Achievement Award. This honor recognizes an individual for exceptional meritorious service, contributions to, or achievements in the field of broadcasting in Indiana over the course of a career. Our Lifetime Achievement Award is presented to an Indiana broadcaster whose work is uniquely beneficial and of superior value to their community and to the association. And I'm very pleased to present this honor to Tom Griswold, truly one of the most recognized names in radio. As Tom tells it, he stumbled into a bar one evening, of course he did, in Petoskey, Michigan, and started chatting with the bartender, Bob Kavoya. That chance meeting would spark the birth of the Bob and Tom show. From there, the world got to know Tom as the Ivy League educated, neurotic, who has an opinion and a retort at the ready. For decades, Tom has entertained millions by just being him. Born in Cleveland, Tom went to Columbia University in New York City, earning a degree in English literature. He is the father of seven children. In his free time, Tom loves being with his family and two golden retrievers. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me congratulate Tom Griswold as our Lifetime Achievement Award honoree. television because uh, when it comes to TV I'd be mistaken primarily for the Simpsons and Mr. Burns. Uh, and also that this is not a sponsored speech. My sleep number of that is 85. Uh, thanks to the Indiana Broadcasters Association of course for this wonderful luncheon or as we in morning radio call it dinner. Uh, my bedtime is about an hour away. Um, I've been in radio for quite some time, actually. In fact, when I started in radio, the phrase Googling yourself was something the overnight guy did in the men's room during the long Led Zeppelin song. I'm talking to you, Ace Cosby. Um, when I started, uh, Bob and I, I, I used to refer to Bob as my partner. That is a vastly different meaning now, and we do that on the air. Um, uh, when I started in radio, my first engineer was Mark Coney. <laughs> it's been a while. Thanks, of course. I wanted, I'm not going to mention everybody, I don't have all day here, but I want to thank especially the great Christy Lee, who was honored today. And uh, a bunch of my people over there, including uh, Marty and uh, Dean, and Bob, of course, and uh, Chick McGee. And Chick has the best voice on our show. In fact, for old time's sake, I thought I'd have Chick come up and read some school closing. <laughs> remember, remember, I'm kidding, sit back down. Uh, but uh, thanks to our terrific crew, I'll be thanking you individually with a uh, small token of my appreciation of Christmas with my photograph on it. Oh, I'm not kidding. Uh, thanks, of course, to our radio listeners. I, I certainly appreciate everybody listening all the time. I want to thank a beautiful Kelly for putting up with me and my son Sam and Willie who work with me which is so exciting. And especially I want to thank my young children. Um, my youngest, believe it or not, is six. So I want to thank Sally, Finn, and Little Heart, because without you, I would have retired. <laughs> um, our show hasn't changed much, but there are some technical issues I want to discuss. For example, on our show these days, the, uh, the constant flatulence you're hearing, uh, that's not sound effects. We are old. Um, I'm, I just want to sum up my career, and I'll, uh, again, I'll be brief. Um, uh, this has been a great life, and uh, thank you to all those great radio people out there. And uh, I've uh, gotten just big enough not to be canceled on Twitter for the jokes I did 30 years ago. Um, I want to thank my lawyer, Dwayne, who's here, and Dwayne, that was really... That was a really sweet move, naming your new boat after me. Uh, 
But it is a little scary getting a Lifetime Achievement Award. Last year at this time, I was a few thousand yards uh, from here uh, having my heart more or less replaced. Thank you, doctor. But um, I hope you didn't give me this Lifetime Achievement Award because you think next year would be another posthumous award. Um, but I am, believe it or not, I'm 69 years old. Uh, so right now, when I say it's a uh, two for Tuesday, I'm talking about the uh, number of stool softeners I'll be taking that day. So, thank, thank you very much. If you've heard the show, then uh, thank you. I certainly appreciate it. So uh, thanks again, uh, Kelly, Willie, Sam, Lucy. This is dedicated to my son, Charles.